This was on a YouTube comment on something else from a few weeks ago. Uh, someone wrote, did a, uh, claiming that they did a couple of shows in Las Vegas that Bam Bam Bigelow was on, and he was quite a bully. The promoter booked him with The Beast Dan Seven. That cooled his jets real quick. Do you have any recollection of that? No, I, I did have a match with Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, I'm trying to think here right now. Um... I mean, there's a couple of different people I've had some matches with that were just, uh, I kept thinking, how are we, how are we going to pull this match off? Because <laughs> <laughs> half the time I'm walking up there, I'm thinking, I, I'm not sure how this is going to go. We have a general idea of what the outcome is going to be, but but what the outcome is going to be, and from the, the, whatever amount of time you put out there, it's hard to say what all could happen because the, the thing I like about professional wrestling the most is when things go wrong, how are you able to work from that? Because rigs do fall apart. Mm -hmm. uh, people do get hurt. Uh, things go wrong. Uh, <laughs> especially when you involve tables, ladder, ladders, and chairs. You know, that, that kind of stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff kind of goes wrong there. Um, Do you remember a specific instance where something seemed to go completely wrong and you thought, how are we going to write this ship? Do you remember? Do you remember the time in a match where I went, "Oh my god, this couldn't go worse," and then you've got to sort of fumble your way through the to the end? No, I mean no. I've, I've actually been into a couple of different matches like that, where I go, "I have no idea where this is going," because you know we, you know, like we end up going out of the ring. Well, oh, here, here. If you want me to go to a story time, I'll, I'll tell you a great story right now. Please, please well, do. For example, right, uh, um, Ogawa. Okay, I can't think. Ogawa uh, was a was a the Japanese NWA champion at one point in time. For a while, I actually had to, I had to drop the strap to Ogawa because they wanted they wanted uh, the the Japanese to to roll with the championship for, for a while. They they you know they were handing up a lot of money, things of that nature. And uh, this match was going to take place in, in Texas, and Ogawa can't speak English. Uh, I only know half a dozen different, you know, Japanese words there. So we had an interpreter mm -hmm. and the, the promoter, Ogawa, myself, and the interpreter. And literally Ogawa basically pitched the idea that this was going to be about, about a two-minute match. We're going to just tie up, get uh, some type of takedown. There's going to be some type of a leg lock, and we're going to roll out of bounds, out of the ring. Onto the floor, but we're still going to have the ankle, ankle locks on each uh, on each other, and it's going to be a double count up. And basically, I, mean, I make a long story short. I basically, I, I simply agreed. I agree, I agreed with the uh, uh, with Ogawa basically through his interpreter, mm -hmm. and so they, they left. Now the promoter looks at me. He goes, he goes, Dan. He goes. This is the main event. He goes, this is going to look like shit. And I go, <laughs> I go, yes. I go, how long is the match slated for? He goes, half an hour. I go, yes, the first two minutes are going to look like shit. <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? I go, I said, I go, I'm, I'm going to kick loose and I'm going to roll back into the ring. I go, the next 28 minutes is going to be magical because he doesn't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what he's going to do. And this is going to be a throwback from days gone by when you're the good guy, I'm the bad guy. We'll see if each other knows what they're about to do. And, and literally, we I, we did do, we went the, uh, almost the full 30 minutes. And even I, I got, uh, it was still a ruled as, as a draw. And I I got five a five more minute chant on top of that. I got even five more minutes on top of that. So... <laughs> The promoter was extremely happy when it was all said and done. And he's like, going, how did you pull that out? I go, I said, Ogawa has a judo background. I tried to play to a lot of judo throws that I thought he should have been able to throw me with and things of that nature. And I go, he had to simply survive. Because <laughs> I, I just kept legitimately kicking out of things that, uh, you know, he was trying to, you know, hopefully the match is going to end it or he's going to pin me there. And, and I just kept kicking out of hold after hold after hold, and, uh, you know, it just made it interesting. Yeah.